Well, it's that time of year again. We're into the summer and uh, most of these venues that we fish now are full of F1s. We all know how finicky these fish can be and we do get you kind of window slots where you could be catching one a chuck and then all of a sudden they've disappeared. And obviously you've got to try and find how to get them back or what kind of depth they're at. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason really why they just disappear, but you've got to try and catch them as, as quick as you can while they're in your swim. Now, they might have dropped down, you might have caught them all that are there. And when you're taking fish out of a shoal, obviously they're going to get a bit spooked, so they might just disappear on you. But all I can recommend is that you have several rigs ready for the situation that you're in. Now, what I mean by that, you might catch them at four inches deep or six inches deep or even 12 inches deep. They might even be lower, but you need to have in your armory different rigs for different situations of catching these F1s. But you, while they're there, you've got to catch as quickly and as effectively as possible. So today's session, we've been fishing shallow. I've been using pre-tied hook lengths now for quite a while. For me, they are probably better tied now than I could do in, in the past. You know, when you're fishing shallow, you want to have plenty of hooks tied because of F1s and, and they might snap you off in the net and different things that can happen through the day. So you need plenty of hook lengths ready now. So there's a couple of ways of obviously, you know, loading your pellet. For me, I, I like to, you know, grab it like that, pull the band over the pellet and I'm ready to go very quickly and I'm fishing again. Or if you're not so quick on that, we have a tool here. You push your uh, band over the tool open it up, you put your pellet in, and then you're ready to go again, and then you're back fishing again. But for me, it's quicker for me because I've been doing such a long time that I use my nail. So today I've been using the new Carp Bandits, which is from a new range of hook lengths. So they're tied to precision, and they come on this new hook plate system, which is a new concept. And I have to say, they're absolutely brilliant. Uh, and owning my own fishery now, uh, I just don't have the time to, you know, tie my own hooks and having these on board now for myself is, uh, is absolutely brilliant. So this new hook plate system, so we have a hook, we have a push stop and we have a bandit. It also comes with different size hooks and different size line diameters. The new hook plate system is really a, a great idea because obviously at the bottom of the plate there's a, is where you put your hook and then when you pull, pull it back up to there's like a, a pair drop that, so your loop goes round it, so the, the, there's no kink in it at all, whereas on, on certain ones, it's a bit too sharp, and then when you take it off, it's, it don't look right. The nice thing about these plates as well is that when you take your hook off the plate, they're kept under tension, just slight tension, so when you take them off, they're dead straight, and they're perfect and ready to go. The other thing for me is that I'm, I'm a big fan of hook boxes, and these new hook plates are fantastic, and I can just take off the hook length, and I can put them exactly straight into my hook box and they fit perfectly with no alteration whatsoever. With the hook plate system, what you get are two stickers. You get a big sticker and a small sticker. The big sticker is to go on the outside of the hook box and the smaller sticker is to go on the inside so that you know exactly which hook length is which in the box. So really, we've got a bit of something for everyone. We've got a hook box system or we've got a hook book system. So if you're not happy to take the hooks off the plate and put them in your hook box, just leave them as they are on the plate and just slide them into the hook book, ready to go fishing. 